so you got your start in the 1980s. What do you remember about that time? Yes, I mean, I started when I was 17. 17. 17, I moved to New York. I didn't know anyone. Um, I lived with Eileen Ford. I mean, those were the days. Oh my God. Now, what, what did you remember most from it? You know, I remember being, first of all, scared of taking the subway. I'm still the scared, yeah. I'm st <laughs> so scared of taking the subway. Um, I, could, I didn't have any money. And then, you know, I wanted to make it in the modeling industry. I mean, that's where you go to make it, right? Yeah. And it was, uh, it was un incredible. That, first of all, it was incredible that coming from a Haitian family, mm -hmm. that my mom actually let me go, because they hold on to their girls real tight. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I could move to New York at 17 and uh, start my career is incredible. And you've had an incredible career. Thank you. Did God you, is great. Right? God is great. Not hard work. <laughs> what do you feel was the defining moment that propelled your career? Defining moment? I've been fearless my whole life. Yeah. Like, I think that's why I'm able to be where I am today, because I'm not afraid to take chances. You know what I mean? Because what are you going to lose? And if you lose, you get up the next day and you try something new. Exactly. And that's always, always what I've done. I always say you always see me try. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't want to go out and have regrets that I didn't try. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that'll keep you going right yeah. there, just to say, I'm going to try. Exactly. No matter what. No matter you can what. look back and say that. No matter what. How did you cross over from modeling to acting? Well, that wasn't easy because people didn't think models could walk and talk at the same time oh. <laughs> back then. You no, sure? I started, um, I did like, you know, the Cosby show, and then I got uh, Coming to America. Uh -huh. And that was a big deal. <laughs> yes. That was a big deal. Very big deal. deal. I mean, I remember at the time I auditioned, every beautiful black girl auditioned for the part of Lisa, uh -huh. who ends up with Eddie Murphy. Wow. I had no you business. For that? Yes, I had no business. I knew nothing. I was so green. So the fact that I even auditioned, they were probably like, oh, this poor girl. And oh so goodness. when I didn't get the part, uh -huh. um, John Landis called my, uh, he was the director, he called my agency and said, listen, if she wants to get in the business, this is a great way for her to be on set, to learn so much, and I learned so much. Watching Eddie, Arsenio, Paul Abdul um, put the, you know, the main dance together. I mean, it was just amazing around these people that I learned so much. Yeah, that's was something great. amazing to be around. That's yeah. the time this piece. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you work with one of my ultimate favorites, Mr. Jamie Foxx. Oh. And y'all are like, just, oh, I know so we good that. That. We do. There he is. I remember. I mean, we both have that in common. He's yeah. incredible he is. to work with. He's funny, he's Great sweet person. and dearing. But the minute for us, because we did comedy, the minute they brought in the audience, uh -huh. he would change. It would be an improv class. You didn't know what he was going to say, <laughs> what he was going to do. He wasn't following the script. I mean, you just had to keep up. What was your experience like? Jamie's an entertainer. OK. So whether it was action or cut, mm -hmm. you heard him somewhere. He was yeah. either on the piano, like you say, doing comedy. He was singing. And again, he's just a joy of a person yeah. to be around. So I love that we have that in common. Me too. To I love that. To be able to work with him. I love that. I mean, to see him going from a bachelor and doing stand up and becoming an Academy Award winner. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and then being an incredible father, you know, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. beautiful to watch the evolution of Jamie Foxx. It is. It's just amazing just to see, because I was a huge fan of the Jamie Foxx show and fancy on the yeah. show and watching you. <laughs> so to have you here, oh, I had so much fun. Oh my goodness. You've done so much. First, I have to ask, did you, when you first started at 17 years old, yeah. did you ever imagine you would go as far as you have come? Absolutely not. I mean, I say that now. I, couldn't have dreamt this big. Uh -huh. Being from a little girl from Haiti, um, coming to the United States when I was seven, I didn't speak a word of English. I watched Sesame Street, that's how I learned English. Is that how you learned? Yes. So from that to where I am today is the American dream, if you will, you know? Yes, ma'am, yes it is. And you co-host on The Real? Yes, what was your The favorite Real, part? I love so much. I love those girls, but what I love so much is having, you know, four women of color, and we have diverse opinions mm -hmm. and views, and we just had a ball. The, my first season, we did 170 episodes from home. From home? Yeah, the this pandemic. This is the pandemic. Yes. 
<laughs> so you guys were like never together. We were but... never together. My guest room, I put everything in storage from my, from my guest room and that became my studio, my office. I would have to ask one of my kids to come down and help me. And he was like, are you gonna pay me? <laughs> <laughs> you know those kids? Oh, I know. Oh, you know. <laughs> yes, because I work from home during the pandemic too. But that's what was the best time to put them children to work. Yes, that's for sure. Absolutely. And they, they got be, to learn. Yeah. And they would be homeschooling upstairs. <laughs> yes. And one day I heard thump, 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 and I went up during a commercial break and I'm like, Jax, what are you doing? He goes, Mom, I'm in PE. <laughs> so Jim would jump in. Oh my down. God. So this is your fourth season of the real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What is that like? Oh, this season, I feel like, is a resurgence of Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. I mean, it's like old school. It's fun. It's glamorous. Of course, we're going to have drama. Yes. And it got a little personal, too. Like, we each have our own individual story. The best part is we have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. When we're not being catty and shading each other, it's really fun. And the ridiculousness of, like, how we dress, where we go. I mean, you know, ball gowns to lunch. If you want to. I like that. <laughs> Ball, yeah, exactly. It's a so it's fun. I mean, it's hard. It's the hardest job I've ever done. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Now, does the drama ever get to you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Ooh, tell me about that. Girl, <laughs> no, <laughs> how much time that. do we have? Oh, my God. Uh, we got time for you. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, as an actor, you know, you can hide behind a character. It's not you you're portraying, but being on a reality show, it's all you. Yeah. It's you, it's your family, it's your house. So sometimes, you know, like anything else, somebody can dig something up or, you know, say something that gets under your skin and it hurts. That is true. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about dating, being on a reality TV show? That's tricky because not everybody wants to be on a reality show. You know what I mean? That is true. Um, but I have a full life. When the man comes, he comes. She said what she said. <laughs> Okay, I have to ask you this. What? Because you do a, you wear many hats. You're yeah. Actress, you're a host, you're producer. A reality producer. You're directing now? Is no, not directing, but I was an executive producer of a lifetime movie called Black Girl Missing. Oh my, yeah. oh my yeah. God. And that movie was so important to yes. me because I really want us, when black and brown women or men or children go missing, we want the same coverage as everybody. Mm. Else. That is so important and use yeah. your platform for that. Yeah. Oh my God, I love yeah. that you, you're doing that. Out of all of those titles, which one is your favorite? Mom. Mom. Of course. <laughs> of course, Mom. Yeah. Definitely. You know, what's really interesting is that when I grew up, I'm one of seven. Okay. My mom pa parented us blanketly. Like, it's the same way she parents all of us. Mm -hmm. And what I've had to learn with my twins is that I need to parent them differently. Oh. Because they have different needs, they're different personalities, they're different, they're so different. And um, so I wanted my kids to be able to open up and say anything to me right. and be careful what you wish for. Clearly. Because they'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Is one more outspoken than the other? Uh, yes, definitely Jax who, you know, yeah, he's the most outspoken <sighs> one. Yeah, but in a way it's beautiful because, you know, we have this dynamic that if he would, we would go, head to head a little bit and then I would shut down and I remember one day he walked out of the room and he came back in and he said when you stop talking it hurts my feelings mm. and I thought to myself I never would have had the wherewithal to say that to my mother right so I'm happy that he's open enough respectfully yes and can say how he feels yes because we can learn it's from a our challenge being a parent. that is true Woo! If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.